Hey there, welcome back. I have not sat down in a while to do a video, so this feels a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Also, there's a door outside on my patio that has eerily just popped open, so if you hear some weird banging, it's a door slamming against another door, so. And it's too cold to go out there right now. What is up with, I think this has been like this all day, that's fine. I don't know how to fix that right now, so just deal with it. Um, also, and then my eyes. I know the reflection's gonna bother some of you. It's bothering me, that's why I'm saying that, but they are so infected, and I haven't been wearing makeup on my eyes. I just don't get it. But enough of that, I have a shopping haul to do. I don't go shopping a lot, so, um, and this is like more recent, obviously. My channel used to just be shopping hauls. I've been so much better. You see my minimalization videos. I have just really focused in on like, do I love this? Do I need this? What can I get rid of? So for everything I'm bringing in, I took out a lot. So this has been over the past couple months of what I've purchased. So I'm just gonna show you first from Nordstrom because honestly, I forgot I had it because I'm that weirdo that will keep things and not use them until I show you guys. So it's still in the bag. And it's just, and this is from an anniversary sale. Yeah, it was that long ago. This has been months. So I just got this really cute blue sweater and it's like super lightweight and I just thought it looked really nice. I'm gonna wear it over top of like tees and tanks and it's freezing in my office, so cold. I need this. I have actually a sweater that I just like keep there full time just because it's so cold. This is my halogen and it was originally $79 and I got it for $32 during the sale and I just like how it's blue. I just think that it's a pretty muted color and I will wear this. So now I can wear it tomorrow. Okay, moving on. I have had to throw away a lot of makeup, still in the process of throwing away more makeup. You'd think that it'd all be gone by now. It is almost. So I picked up by Lancome a Time to Shine or Time Long Time No Shine Translucent Setting Powder. And it is just, just that. It is huge, like this is a huge bottle. This will take me forever to go through. I will not use this though until my eye infections are completely gone and have been gone for at least two weeks so I know that I got rid of it because I am not gonna open a new thing anymore and then have to throw it away. Just, it's not happening. And then I also have this Prep in Matte. This is by Lancome also. The lady really sold me on stuff even though I went in there not to buy anything. But this is just a um, mattifying primer I had a sample that she gave me first to use and I actually don't feel like I loved it. So I think I might return this. I haven't fully decided the sample's gone now. So, and then I forgot, like, did I like it or did I not? But I'm thinking in my mind, I didn't like it. I'll return it. I'm not just gonna use it for the fun of it. And then from Sephora, I just have a few things. Again, makeup. This was when they had their VIB or friends and family sale like last month or so or two months ago. Like, I've literally not used this. I don't know who I am anymore because the old Britney would have immediately just taken all her makeup off and then put the new stuff on. But like, you know, the old Britney also didn't have these crazy eye infections. So I got... <laughs> This is just an empty box. I obviously did use this one. This is by Peter Thomas Roth, that's the door. Skin and Die For Mineral Matte CC Cream. I have the actual product inside of my bathroom because I have used it. It looks just like this though. It is mattifying, I have it on right now. I'm still an oily monster. It's just how my skin works. I like it, it does separate though, so I feel like I don't look great but it keeps me more matte than any of my other stuff currently. So it doesn't match me though. This is the lightest shade. And that's another point to bring up. This is the lightest shade. It's in the shade light and it's still too dark because I turn into a ghost during the winter and it is turning into winter and I am turning into Casper so very quickly. So I've been mixing it with my YSL CC primer in the rose color, which is lighter than my apricot color. So I've been getting used out of some of my other makeup. So I will suggest this if you're darker than me. It has two other darker shades, but if you're lighter than me, absolutely do not touch this. And then just paper. I have, oh, a beauty cleanser, blender cleanser. This is very important, cleansing your products. 
I hate talking to salespeople because I always feel like I have to buy something afterwards. Like it doesn't matter. I feel like I, I just give in way too easily. I'm like, okay, I'll buy it. Okay, I'll buy it. Okay, I'll buy it. And it's not what I wanted. I have a problem and it's something I need to work on within myself. But I got it, Peter Thomas Roth, uh, and you'll see a trend here. This is the Mega Rich Intensive Anti-Aging Eye Cream and it's in a bottle and my whole thing is I wanted to get a pump. So I think I'm gonna return this and get a pump one. It is brand new so they you know, can still sell this. I haven't touched it, but at the same time I might just keep it. I don't know, it just depends how these eye infections do. I have not been putting any cream on my eyes, so not touching it. Another Peter Thomas Roth, this is the water drenched. This is just, you know, a face moisturizer. And I've been like super patchy, like I'm oily, yeah, I've told you guys that, but I'm also very dry in like certain areas, so I do need a moisturizer still. And um, this one is supposed to be uh, 72 hour hydration, and he put it on my face when I was there because I didn't have makeup on, and actually really liked the way that it felt, so I thought it was worth buying. And then very lastly, because I don't have any highlighters anymore, aside from one highlighter, my Dior one, which is going to have to be thrown away once a stupid infection goes away, um, or now. I just, you know, it's, it's hard. It hurts my soul. But this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop, and it's obviously Jaclyn Hill's favorite and the one that she created and I think Jacqueline's beautiful and I always think her highlights beautiful even though I know she doesn't technically always wear this I've just I've never had the champagne pop so please I you know what I didn't even check to see if it was alive or not oh yep it is, is that swatch now it's so pretty like I know that's not going to be a very good lighting for you guys to see but look at that I figured if I just was gonna have one single highlight in my collection, I would want it to be hers. Chester, he's been chewing on it. Hopefully Anthony's wa not watching. <laughs> if you are watching, shut the video off because his present's in here. But a present for me is in here because I cannot shop at Lululemon's without also shopping for myself, which not good, Brittany. But I really did need, I don't have any shorts like active wear shorts because I got rid of all mine because they were booty shorts and that's just not my life. And I've been really wanting a pair of longer active wear shorts and these are supposed to, supposedly supposed to be long and they're not supposed to show your butt and I think they have spandex in a room so fingers crossed I like them otherwise they're being returned. These are it, okay the rest is Anthony's so I will probably not show that since it's not mine but I got him stuff. Um, okay, these are, I got them in a bigger size because I was afraid of them being too small because I heard their shorts run very small. I got them in a size eight and they are called the Laser Speed Train Short and they look short. I'm actually putting them up here, so I don't know. They look like they're gonna fit though. I feel like the size going with the eight was a good idea maybe, I don't know. They were $68 though, so like you know for sure I'm gonna return these if they aren't exactly how I want them to be I don't know like I guess I don't see putting them up to my pants that they look sh we'll have to just figure it out anyways yes that was that and then I also got at Target a piece of clothing on clearance and it's just a sweatshirt it's a crew neck sweatshirt I thought it was really cute and comfy and I've already worn it once so it doesn't have a tag on it but it was on sale from $30 to $14, so it was half off. And I was like, mm, okay, I'll buy you. And I am happy, I did, because it's very soft and comfy. And then the very last thing I did not buy. I got this as a gift from Sephora for turning my points in for the first time in 10 years. I am a hoarder, I hoard my points, I kind of regret buying this because now I don't have those points anymore and for some reason that's giving me some anxiety because I'm like there's going to be a really good a gift out there. Last year they had a Levi's which this is a Levi jacket, they had a denim jacket on there and I obviously did not get to it because those things sell out quickly but anyways this is by Sweaty Betty, is that what it's from? I don't remember maybe but it's just a workout backpack and it's really cute it's in the oxblood do they still say that obviously they do because that's what it is this is sweaty betty though um it doesn't say i'm pretty sure that was the brand like it was a nice brand 
because it retails for $120, which is stupid. I could have swore there's a price tag on here. Like I know there were was one and it's not on there anymore, but I did have also with that, I got some Amika like dry shampoo and texturizing sprays. This is a perk of dry shampoo and a touchable hairspray. They gave like a couple samples in there. And then in the other pocket, I think there's two more samples of Amika hair stuff, but I've tried their entire product line. I think I got it in PR once and I really enjoy them and they smell good. This is a silken up dry conditioner, which why do you need dry conditioner? I don't know that either, but if it helps my ponytails go up, I will try it. And I have tried that one before and it did help. So if you need that kind of support, if your hair is to the point where it's too soft after you like wash it and you're someone like me who doesn't like their hair touching them, I would potentially suggest you buying something like that. But dry shampoo works also, but the dry conditioner doesn't turn your hair white. So depends what you're going for. I don't know. Okay. Anywho, that was everything. I hope you enjoyed this going back to my kind of normal videos, but I'll be doing more vlogs still in the future. Is I um, am not decorating this year. So this is my decoration for the year. I found it. I had already had this a long time and um and he's looking a little sad because Chester keeps eating his antlers. If you can tell, this side's normal. This side has been attacked. So this is my reindeer. You can name him what you want. What should his name be? Leave it in the comments below. And we'll see, oh, well, I say we. We'll see you soon. But you can't actually see the other star of this video because he's eating my Lululemon bag. But we will see you super soon in another video, won't we? Love you. Goodbye. <laughs>